All right. Hello and welcome, everybody. We're about to close out the season here. One final game here. Final skip game. It's going to be Washington versus Oda. And that will decide who wins the NFC Central and also if uh, the Bears or Minnesota Vikings will go to the playoffs at all. <laughs> all right. 18. So nice, John. So nice. All right, Carl. <laughs> Duncan? Carl Brain. Minnesota with a big victory to clinch the NFC Central, folks. Uh, nobody likes Minnesota. Probably people from Minnesota like Minnesota. Not even they don't. <laughs> so, Minnesota victorious. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to take a look at... There we go. New England and Miami in the playoffs. Pittsburgh as well sees the wild card. Oh, yeah. San Diego with a 14 and 2 record. I hope you get ordered. Giants the going to the playoffs. Uh, Chicago the out of the playoffs. <laughs> All right. New Orleans and Hot Atlanta going to the playoffs. Let's check out the brackets there. I got to buy two there, bitch. <laughs> oh, I'll play, I get to play the oh, other. Oh, yeah. bitch in here. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and take Calm a look. Down, John. Let's go ahead and take a look at that in case that was yeah. uh, a little too fast for people. Yeah, well, you play it? It helps if you pay attention. I'll be playing the Steelers Dolphins game. That's the You're the Patriots. I'm the Bills, dickweed. Yeah, that's right. Bills, bye. Plays the winner of the Steelers Dolphins. You hated Tom Brady. You're out of your fucking shot. The Oilers in the first round are going to have to, in the wild card, are going to have to take on it. So the Daily Show is going to go against the Patriots. Go, Tom Brady. Wait, wait. Who's Tom Brady? I think that's. Bledsoe. Not Bledsoe. No, it's Bledsoe. Scott Zolak. Yeah. And the Chargers will take on the winner. Bills and the Chargers already cheated. They paid so much. And now the they NFC. Cheat. I don't know the Cowboys did. So, so the Cowboys the get the first round bye. And oh, so they Saints and the Giants. They went to the bowl. So actually, the only person that has to play a game in the first round is the Daily Show. <laughs> Carl Duncan. I want my <laughs> All right, guys, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the. Uh, let's see who had the best offense in the league. Not me. The Patriots. That not real. Yeah, oh, that, that's what you're going against. <laughs> Damn, I was tenth. Uh, the Cowboys at number two. Oh, you were lost. All day. Cocaine's a hell of a drug. That's pretty much all he did the whole game. Let's see as we go down. Uh, <laughs> There's the Oilers. There's the Oilers at number 22. 22. 23 to the 49ers. Hey, but we got five. Uh, Chargers, Oilers, 49ers right there in a bunch. Bears and the Broncos. And that was probably due to some of our nearly departed athletes. <laughs> they had <laughs> Best passing, Cowboys. Yeah. There's the Oilers. Let's see who can't pass. The Bears. 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 Still Bears. 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 Okay, in the rush, the Giants, and I think that's only because they played humans a lot. <laughs> oh, you're 13? Damn, I'll well done, you. Marion Butts. Hell oh, yeah, 27. <laughs> ah, it's awesome. I managed to reach 27 with a uh, Pro Bowl quality uh, running back. It's debatable. <laughs> Let's check out defense. Who was playing the tough D? Yeah, the Chargers. <laughs> yeah. By a margin of a thousand <laughs> yards. Jeez Louise. Dominance. Hey, we got fourth. Niners got the fourth. The Bills got the fifth. Cowboys in seventh. <laughs> Oilers in ninth. And let's see who really sucked. Who it. sucked the most? The, the Patriots. Patriots. Woo! No wonder they had the number one offense. <laughs> they had to catch up to everything. They kept getting the ball back all the time. <laughs> Against the pass, it's the Chargers. Very nice. And the rush. This is the one I'm interested in. I'm real interested to see which one of you guys is way down here on rush defense. Because I've seen you play. Probably me. Cowboys, or yeah, 49ers, 21. 21. 25. Oh, Woo! Oh, like, <laughs> Bring it up. <laughs> I'll, so I'm not last. <laughs> a virtual sieve of a defense on the Oilers. Yeah, no, it's because you keep asking the dude who has <laughs> Let's check out who's the number one passer in the NFL. 
Top rated passive Chris Miller of the Atlanta Falcons. That's pretty much your guys' fault because there's no way he should be number one. All right, let's keep going. Moon at nine. Way, way to make Moon suck. You're welcome. You said no names, remember? And then as we go down the list, Harbaugh. From one of our dearly departed friends, Ooh, I'm not <laughs> with a, with a phenomenal rating of 48. Let's see who threw the most interceptions. I'm pretty interested in that. Woo! The so Kelly avoids the interceptions well. <laughs> Number two. <laughs> Number two, Moon, because he didn't complete enough passes to intercept. But as we go down the list, Harbaugh, over 10 percent of his passes were interceptions. <laughs> Stan the man at 8.6. Very nicely done, Stan. Okay, let's check out receiving yards. It, it's uh, Mike, Mike Michael Because that's oh, 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 oh. literally me. I'm done that's, losing it. I'm losing it just so you guys know. I'm pretty no sure that's a real record in real life. <laughs> it's the only guy he throws to. 39 yeah. yard average, 10 touchdowns. Yeah. Did like you use by, uh, by 900 <laughs> yards. I'm not, I'm done using it. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, it don't matter if you cover my head. <laughs> Don Beebe at number 14. Yeah. And Sam, hey, Rice at number 23. Yeah, we made some I got a running back up there. <laughs> oh, yeah, Thurman Thomas. <laughs> oh, Thurman. <laughs> oh, I think that's number of receptions. Let's look at yards. Then it's Irvin once again by a wide margin. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Rice is third. Rice is third. Very well done. We don't don't matter matter is a good season. That's a respectable number right there. 1,200 for yeah. a season. 21 inches. Yes. That's <laughs> it was four points between <laughs> second and third. It was damn near 1,000. First and second. Rushing yards, Marion Butt. And actually, that would make... No, that would still make him like third in the AFC. Uh, let's see. Who else do we got on here? Thomas Thurman eight. Thomas, number eight. No surprise there. Uh, and everybody else is uh, not really <laughs> represented. Those are real low numbers for him. Oh, is is he there? Yeah, right there, twenty one. Oh, oh there sorry, is. there is Emmett Smith. He didn't even break a Let's go He's look at 100. who ran the most. Marion Butts. Uh, <laughs> no, I don't look like that. I'm a passing team. Damn, I had the third most rushing attempts. And do you know why Marion Butts runs a lie? How the fuck do you have? Evan Smith has the six most attempted rushes, <laughs> but yeah, I only have 766 yards. Let's see yards per attempt. He had 5.2. So number one, Bernie Kosar, yeah. 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 <laughs> stupid, stupid uh, quarterbacks. Had a, had a had a hell of a scramble there. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of meaningless. These are all fucking quarterbacks, yeah. except for Barry Foster, who you might end up running into in the playoffs. Beware! Touchdowns. Marion Butts. Butts. The Butts. The Butts. Thomas at four. Look at Smith. Smith is the I wonder what he does toward the goal line. <laughs> not, he can't jump. Not a lot of short passes. Scoring. Marion Butts. There's a man who knows how to score. Uh, and Emmett Smith. And Thurman Thomas. And now Slim Pickens. Now we go down to the computer. Oh, Ricky Waters. Oh, Ricky Waters? The, 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 the Daily Show is just uh, not Rice. well represented. Were you playing? Yeah. Jerry Rice, number 23. And at this point, it becomes. Oh, no, there's Don Beebe. The Beebe. Let's see who had the most extra points. Let's see who missed the most extra point. Tampa I'm, I'm Bay. Tied for second. <coughs> tied for second. Nice, John Carney. Tampa Old Bay. Oh, Steve Christie. I never did unlock the extra point thing, did I? I don't know. I don't think I did. You tell me, but a lot of these guys <laughs> did. Bless well, you. <clears throat> well, oh, I'm sorry. Let's look at field goals. Number of shagged field goals. I think I only had like three field goals. Man. But Houston's up there. Yeah, Aldo Greco. Yeah, I think you missed 10 more, but... Keep going, keep going. Yeah, but when you score like that, that's, that's all for the field goals. That's all for the field goals. You don't need to even make it on the list. I wanted to see some... halfway through the season to figure out the field goals. <laughs> I, want to I really think I only had like three field goals. goals. And not to kick. I wish, yeah, I wish we could... I want to see... Is there a stat for that, onside kicks? 
I wanted to see one of you guys, like, with a really bad field goal game. Oh, okay, yours isn't as bad as I thought there, Daily Show. You only missed three extra points and three field goals. <laughs> That's not that bad. Christy, oh, Christy. I did. Oh, no, I didn't. See, you only you missed, missed one. Missed oh, one. it got blocked. It got blocked. This case thing. Seattle? Uh, yeah. Look at that. <laughs> we'll miss four of them. <laughs> Lynn Elliott was fine. Only missed one field goal. That's pretty, that's not too that's bad. Right. My, my one extra point, I didn't miss it, it got blocked. <laughs> look at, look at uh, San Francisco. Six extra points missed. God, <laughs> I made six extra points? No, you, you missed, missed six. You missed six. I hope you made more than six. Who's the best punter? Montgomery from Woo! Nevada. 69 points. Am I even on that list? I think I've punted like four times. Klaus Wimsley's on there? Yeah, we don't need to punt. Yeah, we don't punt, man. <laughs> What's punting? Uh, well, if you're, if you're in Britain, it has a different uh, meaning. And last, with four. the punting. Yeah, no, yeah. I guess I think I punted like four times. <laughs> Not a very good punter. No, I just didn't punt. Interception. Go for it. Come on. Right, cool. we don't have... McDonald number four. Yep. Uh, who else we got here? Yeah. Uh, Griffin? Wow, you got a lot of takeaways. Yeah. Mark Carrier? Yeah. Uh, 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 <laughs> oh, it's cool. What, what about them fumble recoveries? I gotta be on that That one. ain't on there. Dang. What about the sacks? Sacks? <laughs> <laughs> what about that sack? 67. Yeah, 67. <laughs> Boosting shit. About 40. I thought, I thought Bennett had a good one with 21. I mean, damn. Yeah, yeah. And we're in second. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. I mean, that's possible. Right that's what he was on, on coke all the time, right? And no, like, he was he was righted up pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> was, I think it was a combo, man. He might have been snorting right. That was Roy. Come on, guys. <laughs> well, I'm sure you don't have a problem with it. <laughs> Watch out, he might rage out on us. Pun returns! And... Scene. <laughs> oh, there's William. And, uh... The enemy. Sleeping with the enemy. And let's look at kickoff returns. Neon Dion, of course, at first. They got scored on a lot because he's got 47. No, you know who got scored on a lot? The Cleveland Browns. <laughs> oh That's not very good defense. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not too many on here, guys. Touchdowns? No. Computer yeah, yeah. can't return one for a touchdown. And neither can you. <laughs> so, uh, I'd like to I'd like to just go through very quickly and show how some of my predictions turned out. Now, I did predict uh, Miami and Buffalo would go to the playoffs with Buffalo winning, and uh, depending on uh, Vince Russo's playing skills. Uh, but he, he did well at a 13-3 record, phenomenal record, and Miami made the playoffs after losing, like, I don't know, their first five or something. New England is a surprise because surprise. with Indianapolis, they're one of the worst teams. The Jets, you figure, would have gotten that nod, but didn't. AFC Central, it all depended on the <laughs> Daily Show, but it was Houston's division to win. And although they were 11-5, and five, they lost like their last, I don't know, three games. So <laughs> certainly could have been better. Very reminiscent of the Oilers in that time era where they did very Buddy well. Ball. Won the division and they just fucking tanked it and they got yeah, they the gave up the most awesome comeback in NFL playoff history. If you're from New York, <laughs> yes, but yeah, and they usually just fucking lost it in the playoffs. Uh, Pittsburgh nine and seven. Quarterback, by the way. They were a contender to win, uh, and they did make the playoffs here. So we'll see if they can make some noise in the, the playoffs here. Cincinnati and Cleveland were yes, uh, they were handpicked by me to not do very well. And I stand by that. AFC, so we see the league Peter. best record. Peter. League best record of uh, the, the K Dog here with San Diego. Defense. Number one defense. If you look at it though, he's in a cake fucking division. Because <laughs> I had three playoff teams in my division. No wonder I had three losses. <laughs> a little bit harder schedule. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> shit. Now, <laughs> I don't know what the hell happened with this game, okay? 
But Denver, the Raiders, and KC are all playoff contenders and could actually win the division. Seattle's won this. Now, Seattle was never a contender. And, and I think one of you actually contributed to their one win. So I, I can't remember who it was, but one of you actually made that possible. Uh, possibly guilty on that. <laughs> I can't remember. But anyway, yeah, this division turned out really weird. But uh, Denver would have won that game had they kicked a, a particular field goal, which they decided to go for yeah, it. See, Denver was a, uh, a retired player. Yeah. Um, so they're all retired, actually, from this year. I'm just. You know, no, I'm talking about the user. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> yeah. And he. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, San Diego best record in the league. In the league. Fourteen and two. In the league. In the league. I mean, league of chokes. You'll be you'll be out in the first round. Uh, you play. <laughs> well, I mean, it's not actually man, possible for him. Yeah. second round. His first round, he plays. I was in a good division then. The mismanaged. 49ers. <laughs> yeah, the 49ers, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. who lost, dropped their last two to go to a pathetic 13 and three. The last one. I mean, with the offensive oh, weapons right. they have with Steve Young, Jerry Rice, Ricky Potters, and had outstanding defense. It should have really went 16 and 0, maybe. However, <laughs> they take 13 and 3. I'm gonna take 13 and 3. Well, shit, when you miss enough extra points, to equal touchdown. <laughs> 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 I mean, anyway, in real life, wasn't that good? Anyway, give me one that bad. San Francisco do did dominate the division, uh, and they, they they clinched it very early. And uh, New Orleans and Atlanta, Atlanta, I think benefited off the fact that they tend to kick every player control team's ass every time they played them. I mean, they do have. I don't think they have one of them. I didn't play them. Either. You didn't play them, but. I think everyone else dropped yeah, one to them. Um, <laughs> he sheepishly said. And uh, New Orleans usually does make the playoffs, and despite some early problems because they were controlled by somebody, they actually went on to have a 10-6 record, which is enough to win <laughs> some division. They could have won the NFC Central, but then again, I could have won the NFC Central. I mean, like me, not controlling a team, just me in that division. Uh, Minnesota went ahead and clinched it there with that win. Chicago, who is Glenn O'Reilly's team, comes to a sad end as they are unable to be victorious. See, Tampa Bay with an unreal 8-8 eight eight record with Green Bay in the cellar. Now, this was weird because Tampa Bay is a bad team. Yeah. And it really shouldn't be there. But they're there. Yeah, because they beat me in the last game with Steve. <laughs> Which is disgusting. Wow. Really? You, I mean, you lost Tampa Bay? Yeah, that computer was fat. <laughs> That's all right, I lost the Indy. Tampa Bay, 390 points scored this season. Look at that. But they also... 28 of them came from me. <laughs> and they gave up 4 at 23, though. So, and then finally, the, uh, the second to last... The Cowgirls! The, the Cowboys, 11-5. Another five. disappointing 11-5 I will agree. Yeah, yeah, definitely. With the offensive and defense work of the Raiders. And the Smith, Smith, Smith the Michael Irvin, Irvin now Troy Aikman. Come on. They That's had good. a supreme team. Hey, come on. Yeah, just wait. They're all on coach. Just they wait. can't <laughs> not perform. The first time I'm hot, it's like 10 yards. It's exactly <laughs> yards. Okay. Well, at least when you play him, you know where you're dragging your defensive player. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Irvin. <laughs> Okay, so no, anyway, right? Dallas oh, plays the division, <laughs> and they get the first round by. The Giants, a great 10-6 and six record, went ahead, and they're going to go to the playoffs as well. Washington, Philadelphia, disappointing, but they ain't going anywhere. They're going to they're gonna watch this one from home. So anyway, I hope everyone enjoyed uh, my recap here. If we play again after uh, one of us will have to defend the Super Bowl, but if we're able to play in the season... The uh, Tarjimala. I mean, you're in the division with the Redskins. I mean, do y'all want to give me the championship now? What's that? He's crowning it right now. Hey, can you show him the shirt? He just showed me my shirt. Anyway, thanks for joining us for this playoff preview. When we return, we're going to have some tough games coming up, including the Daily Show is going to take on the Pats. You better not lose. You better not. Who aren't very good. <laughs> but yeah, the best offense in the league. Best offense in the league. Well, good night, everybody.